Welcome to the... Work is finished for the day. Yes. So my advents are up here. Don't get excited about the big box. That is not an advent. That is vacuum storage bags. Um, so this one I think is from Haley of Ducky Darlings. This is my Yarn Badger 24 stripe self-striping sock yarn. And this is from Lay Family Yarn. So I need to choose, sort those out and put them into little baskets by the tree. Tree is undecorated and will remain so probably for another week, I think. This is my first year having a tree with jacks. Um, he, so he's my youngest Bengal and he is going to destroy everything I put on this tree. So yeah, it's it's going to be interesting having a young Bengal with this, but I I figured if I don't get let him get used to having a Christmas tree around, I'm never going to be able to have a Christmas tree with him because it's always going to be this point of him learning. Yeah, not to take every single bauble off, and I'm expecting there's going to be a lot of him taking every single bauble off. And um, I also have a Percy Pig advent calendar. I'm being attacked by a cat. I don't know if you can see. Cat, oh, what are you doing? Are you coming up? Come on then. Come on then. Come on. You're replying more, aren't you? Oh no, no, she didn't want to. Um, yes. Yeah, so I have a Percy Pig advent calendar from Mum. Um, and this is my Christmas box of socks. I shall take it off. So I've got baskets there ready for advent calendars. Quality street tin full of chocolate that will be mingled with the advent calendars. So yeah, you're on a stand now. So yeah, this is my Christmas box. I got this a few years ago from my sister and um, she was very, she found it very strange that I wanted a Christmas box for Christmas. Um, now in here is all my Christmas yarn. I have West Yorkshire spinners, some mothy and squid, there's some yarn badger, there's a king cold zigzag, there's some DK skeins, there's a fine fish yarn. So I miss fine fish yarns. I don't think she's dying anymore. And then there's some odds and ends. And there is also... Oh, who was this by? This is another self-striping. So that's all my Christmas yarns. There is some more lurking somewhere that hasn't been put into this box. But yeah, that is all my Christmas yarns. And then in here... There's all my Christmas socks. And again, there are some missing from in here. So there are... Advent yarns of Christmas's past. Should be a few of those. Yeah, that was the first one. But how many pairs of socks do I actually have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There's eighteen pairs of socks in here. There's at least three other pairs of socks that need to go in here that aren't in here. So we might just be three pairs off my actual goal of 24 pairs of socks in here but yeah I shall wear a pair of these every day of advent I have shamelessly stolen this idea from Jude of Stranded Dye Works but yeah it's taken 
the best part of three years to get this far and I have to say I haven't knit any this year but yeah they are my Christmas socks I shall leave that on top like that because some of that yarn will get knit in December all sorted and puka in the middle because obviously we are celebrating the countdown to her birthday aren't we puka you look very scared so yeah so i've got a tub of little sweeties and um they've been added to by bits that came with in with the advent calendars this is my 24 stripe self-striping sock yarn santa's rainbow so i'm going to go wind this up in a minute and then i've got my lay family yarn advent in here so this is a 12 gram <laughs> we're forgetting the important thing puka um this is a 12 day 10 gram mini skein set and they are numbered 1 to 12 so I think my plan is to alternate um, I'm really hoping the cats don't chew through any of these bags um, so one from here and then one from here and then this is the Ducky Darlings Anytime Advent which I think is such a brilliant idea and these are not numbered they're just 20 gram mini skeins in there um, but yeah, that's that's lovely. So yeah, at the time, so yeah, my plan is so one day from Lay Family and one day from Ducky and alternate. So I'll probably get mixed up with what numbers are what, but it'll all work out. And then I got a card in from Liz. Um, I, I there is some weird part of me that really enjoys getting cards that say to Liz from Liz. <laughs> I don't know. Right, 
I'm going to go wind this yarn because it looks beautiful and get this all ready to cast on first thing tomorrow. I think we can all agree that is right up my street. Yes, please. So I've got all my advents sorted, which is good. I still have to wind this up and um, get my needles ready and everything for the morning. Um, and, and that's pretty much me set up for advent things. Um, I need to go through my knitting projects and change over from autumn to winter, which I'll probably do tomorrow because otherwise this might be quite a long vlog. So I think I also might do a Christmas movie a day. Um, in Halloween vlogs, I did a Halloween movie or a scary movie every day and I picked them all at random out of a hat and it was really it was good in a way because I watched films I haven't watched in ages and also I had didn't have to decide what to watch on an evening always a bonus um so I think I'm going to do something similar but I'm not going to start it today because um it's still November and um I'm the the, the festive fairy has not visited yet so the the uh the Christmas spirit, it, it'll get here, but I'm still coming down off all the November work and I'm, I think I, I need a weekend of just peace and crafting. At the moment, every time I sit down and settle and try and do anything, because the cats have been so bored because I've been working, they just go mad. And they're bouncing off the walls because I'm actually around and I'll give them attention and all I want to do is sit still. So there is a bit of... But yeah, everything's going to slow down and we'll get the sort of festive feelings will start creeping in. So yeah. So what I was going to ask is please leave me a comment with your favourite festive film. Whatever it may be, it doesn't even have to be like Christmas related. Um, just what films you like to watch. Like, I mean, in this house, Die Hard is definitely a Christmas film. And there are there are other things like that, like just favorite films. Like, I always watch Jurassic Park at Christmas. It's one of my favorite films. Always watch it at Christmas. Um, it's not festive, but it's. A time of year for self-indulgence, in a way. But yeah, um, I mean, if you can't be self-indulgent at Christmas, when can you be? Oh, we got a cow. So yeah. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going to wind this. Part of me thinks I should wind other yarn while I'm up there, but I, I don't think... I have the willpower. I know I need to, but Ooh. this is so lovely. I'm so glad I got sparkle. Can you? I don't know. Can you? Yes, you can. Look at the sparkle on that. Fab. There. Yeah. Winding and then spinning.
So I'm just about to settle in with my knitting and uh, watch a film. I think I'm going to carry on watching the last Star Wars film, which I started watching last night before bed. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd say goodnight now in case I forget later. So yeah, thank you for joining me for day one of Vlogmas. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.